Hi guys, so let's see a very small but very important concept in the Maven for the interviews. How we can run the Maven project from another directory or any directory location. So basically when we want to run the Maven project from the command prompt, we use the Maven commands. And using those Maven commands, we basically use uh, used to run the pom.xml file. Okay, so whatever configuration available in that pom.xml file, as per that, that uh, Maven project will run. Okay, for example, I have this Maven project on my local machine and if I want to run this Maven project with the help of command prompt what I will do I will open the command prompt from here right so you can open the command prompt from the location where this pom.xml file is available or you can directly open the command prompt and use the cd command and uh, reach up to this location first okay and then you can run the Maven command okay so I am already at the project location which I want to run so I can directly run the maven command let's say maven clean test okay build success that means we have successfully executed this maven project okay so this maven project i am running from the same location where the pom.xml file is available now in this session what we are going to see is I'm, I will not be available or I will not be uh, in the project location of the Maven project. I will be outside of that project location and then I, I need to run that Maven project. So let's say I will go to the parent location. So the, there are multiple Maven projects available. Okay so I want to run this Maven project. Right. So I will not go inside this Maven project and run the Maven command. I will be available in this parent location. Okay. And from here I will open the command prompt okay so now if i run the same maven command let's say men clean test now maven will try to uh, find the pom.xml file but this is not the project location where pom.xml file is available and that will give you the error right okay build failure there is no pom in this directory okay so what i can do is i can use the men okay then I will use the file flag here. Okay, with the help of this file flag, you can provide the location of your uh, pom.xml file that you want to run. Okay, space. Then here I will give the location. So now I want to run the pom.xml file available in this my test project location, right? So I will give my test project slash pom.xml. Okay, men space hyphen f my test project slash pom.xml file and then clean test okay so only you need to use this f flag okay so let's see so my own project is getting executed right and it has successfully completed so i have executed this maven project from the parent location not from the same location of that pom.xml file i only uh, instructed maven to uh, get the pom.xml file from this project location okay for that purpose you need to use this f flag or file flag okay so you can use the file flag as well if i use here file then space enter so you can use the hyphen f or hyphen file okay so using that flag i can run this maven project from any location now okay let's say i will uh, close this command prompt and i will directly open the command prompt so i am available at the c drive users and my users location so if i want to run that same maven project from this I will use men again, then hyphen f. Then I will have to give the location of that project. So what I can do is I will go inside that project. I will copy this location. So add that location here, then clean, and then test. Okay, so project is executing now and uh, build success 
okay so this is how you can run the maven project from any location okay so this can be a very important for the interviews point of view anyone can ask you how we can run the maven project so there are different ways by which we can run the maven project you can use the ids like eclipse or intellij and you can use the command prompt okay so from the project location you can do or from any location using the file flag you can run the maven project so that is all for this session guys i will uh, see you in the next video soon thank you